Hold on. Welcome to the camera. Hold on. Hold on. So, yeah, I'm going to First thing is, that's uh, why I was on when I was talking about how uh, I was worried. I'd sent a text that I felt like I shouldn't send because I felt like it was crazy. And, like, I hadn't heard back from the person I sent it to. And I was just, you know, I knew they were really busy. Um, but I was really, I was honestly freaking out that, like, like, I changed the way the person thought about me, and, like, now we thought that I was, like, mentally ill or something. Which is so coincidental that he would start talking about that. But, um, whatever the case may be, I don't know what's going on in the head, right? You can't ever know what's going on in someone's head. So you just gotta kind of roll with what they give you. Um... Balance there. But, um, yeah, it turns out that it's just nothing. <laughs> uh, he was actually grateful for the, the thought process because it gave him clarity on some stuff. Um, but, excuse me. Uh, but, the. Um, yeah, so the, the balance I find difficult to strike there is, uh, trying to figure out what someone's thinking and like being like, oh, okay, well, I'm never going to figure that out, so why bother trying? And then, uh, there is, like, you can't take everybody at their word. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can't. You can't do that. Um, I've learned that, and I don't know where the line between those two things are. Um, so I'm going to have to have someone explain that to me. Um, and I'll get back to you about it. But, um, but, um, ching. Okay. So, um, definitely losing my hair. I'm not happy about it. I'm kind of hoping that it was just that medication that I started and then I stopped really briefly but it seems to have gotten worse but then again I haven't I, I haven't been paying enough attention to it because it's like one day it's like all right the next day it's like holy shit so I'm not happy about that but I am I concocted a concoction with my um <laughs> People pass and they look at my smile and I'm like, yeah, I'm not nuts. Okay, I'm not nuts. Just get a selfie stick. That would be hilarious. I don't know if it's any weirder than walking around with this thing in my hand. But, um, so, what was I going to say? Yeah, that's not the right hand to put in. Um, my back's obviously been bothering me. I did some stuffing this morning anyway. Not that you really care. Um, so, yeah, uh, and that's disturbing. Hair loss. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's due to. When I try a couple of things, I'll let you know. Um, but other than that, uh, something I realized the hair loss thing kind of made me, kind of added to it, was that I'm not kind of realized I'm not taking care of myself well. Like, I'll look around at my surroundings and they're a mess. Like, they're a mess. You know what I mean? And I'm not able to, well, I haven't been able to go to bed on time, get up on time, go to sleep, stay asleep. You know what I mean? Even my office, I haven't, like, swept in a while. And, um, you know, I gotta do some cleaning. And, I mean, at least I'm doing better with the eating, right? Um, I'm feeling calmer. I just meditated this morning, uh, and I did some yoga, so my back stretched out, feeling better, my lower back. 
um, and I am trying to use my abdominal muscles to support my lower back so it's not just my lower back taking all the strain so we'll see how that works out hopefully it does <laughs> um, yeah but I think I think This one knot in the left side of my upper back, just like every once in a while, it's like I'm here. <laughs> it's like yeah, I know, I know you are. Relax, <laughs> literally relax. Um. Anyway, so that's kind of really what I wanted to say. I want to see, you know, and the, the, so so the, my food's better, but I have not. And this is why I think my back's been acting up. I mean, partially because of stress and I know it is because was, that was so weird how correlated like when it was really hurting how correlated my thoughts or what I'm saying out loud in my thoughts were to like back pain back spasms like it was weirdly correlated and it didn't like I paid attention to it it was weird um but a large part I'm sure is due to the fact that I have not been active for many many months many many months and uh, that's, it's really unhealthy. It's really unhealthy. So uh, I am getting out and it's, it's, it's really about respecting myself enough, right? To treat myself the way I should be treated. Like if I had a kid, kid's not gonna sit around all day, even if they're doing important work. <laughs> you know, like get out, get outside, get some air. It's a beautiful day today, no clouds. Look at how beautiful that is just look the blue sky and the green trees so pretty um so yeah that's i think i think it's important and i think that in taking care of myself i will learn to care for myself more you know what i mean because it's like it, it's a it's a circle that goes back onto itself right like I haven't been doing really good with my skincare routine lately, but uh, at least I'm putting sunscreen on most of the time when leaving the house. But um, yeah, I I think if when I show myself that I care by caring for myself, I will in turn care for myself more, which will make me want to care for myself more. So I'm going for that beneficial cycle. Um, so hopefully I can make it around the pond a couple times. The reason I haven't been able to is because of the back, not because I'm so out of shape that I can't make it around the pond. <laughs> but like about halfway through, like my, my back has been like, oh, you know? Um, and the other good thing is I'm losing weight. I'm gonna cross the street so I can be in the shade. Because it stops being shady here. It starts being shady over there. And that's where I want to be in the shade. No me gusta direct sunlight. Um, I'm also learning to like, like with my meditation this morning too, I was able to see if I can get myself to go in this hand without hurting myself again. That's all right, that's all right. Um, I just have to bend my elbow and steady it against my body. Which means the camera's a little closer than I really want it, but whatever. Um, I'm just being real, right? See something in my face? Whatever. <laughs> um, so, along with being good to myself, what's such a thing? Yeah, because I, I think that once I start taking care of myself and straightening things up, because that is a part of keep taking care of yourself, right? Keeping your your area in good shape as well as yourself. I think that will also help my work. It'll help my mind. It'll help everything. So it's just a matter of working it into the schedule. <laughs> Not that I'm really sticking to the schedule right, right, right now, but um, I am going to do some more lead prospecting and um, I 
think at this point, the people in this neighborhood are probably used to the girl, the lady who travels around with a gift of her face. He's talking to it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright. So, yeah, fresh air, sunlight, all good for me. I think it'll end up being good for my work too, good for the company. So, that's the excuse of using to come out here and actually get some air and some exercise. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna work on this. And it's, it's a build up thing, right? Sure, I'm, a, I'm not happy that I've allowed my body to get like this. Um, it's gonna take some work to get back to where I wanna be, but that's okay. <laughs> Because um, if I want to, yeah, I like, will respect myself enough to take care of it. And I'm going to cross the street now. Um, and I'm not, not going to go back and feel like I'm here. Alright, so I think that's really about it. This is like a very exciting one. But I just thought it was important to share with you that I think taking care of yourself important thing and um it comes in a lot of different forms like caring for your surroundings right actually doing your laundry then folding it and putting it away and like cleaning up your room straightening things um taking the trash out that sort of stuff <laughs> it's probably a good idea to do that <laughs> anyway uh yeah so it's just showing myself that I respect myself enough to care for these things. And also I'm trying to get closer to the universe. You know, and then, like, in my meditation practices and sort of in my in a dialogue. Um, sorry, my back is hurting. I'm just trying to believe that it's not. It's totally fine. Um, I've been, part of me wants to get touch because I need things to be fixed, <laughs> right? It's a transactional approach, which doesn't really work. But part of me really just wants to get rid of this stuff inside. I mean, no, that's, that's not part of me, but like all of me wants to get rid of stuff. Um, you know, the negative, uncomfortable stuff. Uh, sorry. And uh, the negative, uncomfortable stuff that um, has been held there for a long period of time. And I'd like to get let go of that, so that's what I'm working on. And a lot of that is, you know, meditation and just, I'm slowly but surely learning to, <clears throat> instead of when I have a thought or a feeling, to be like, ah! And it, right, so I'm learning to like, m m be able, be, be more able to like, Oh, there's that thought and feeling. Okay, I won't pay attention to it. Rather than, like, get startled by it and shove it back down, right? So these things come in, um, you know, they're, pro they're, they're works in progress. Right now, I'm slightly... You just did all this, and this is just like a, like this is nothing compared to the, the entire universe. Like, to be concerned with the smallest atom, I mean, it's just an undifferentiated field of quantum, um, quantum particles or whatever. Um, like the undifferentiated quantum field, that's all life is. Not all, it's, that's amazing. But, um, I am working on keeping that in mind, so I feel more connected to everything. Um, anyway, the, uh, <coughs> <coughs> the thing that I'm trying to get the universe to take care of, <laughs> trying to cajole her <laughs> into taking care of, is the, um, the financial situation, right? Both of me and my company. Because I have not done a good job. <laughs> and, um, I'm not asking for help this time 
because I need to get myself out of it. And I need to suffer the consequences. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. And it's gonna cost me a lot more money <laughs> in overdraft fees before I'm done. Um, Mm. What else can I take my card off of, right? Um, I gotta go and figure that out. There are certain things that I can't. No. Shh, dang it. Anyway. Oh, you know what though? Like, I'm try I've been trying to figure out what the solution is, and I'm obviously nothing I do has worked, right? Like, there's nothing I can do. Nothing. And it's the same situation I was in, well, not the same situation I was in two years ago, but it's the same point at which I say, you know, like, what I'm doing is not working. And you know what really sucks? Oh, man. Okay, is that this pond is so beautiful, and it's been so beautiful, but the past, like, two summers, maybe three, two, it started smelling. Um in certain parts because there's you know, some of it's evaporated there's algae people dump freaking koi fish into it like because people are assholes <laughs> like <laughs> there's like giant koi in there <laughs> anyway anyway so yeah it's got because of the weather or however whatever is happening planet wise um Um, it starts to smell in certain areas of the pond, and it's really a shame. Like, the past few, few summers, uh, you know, they put up signs saying, like, don't put your dog, don't let your dog go in, don't fish, we'll do it anyway. But, um, yeah, it's just not, not as clean as it should be. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna allow that part of my body to relax. That part of my body can relax, it's okay. So anyway, I've reached the point where <clears throat> clearly I don't know what I'm doing and I'm gonna just take my hands off the wheel <laughs> and take as much right action as I can. Um, sorry, that's my back. Uh, take as much right action as I can and just leave the rest to the universe but also get in touch because I know she's got my back right I think this and all this stuff is happening the back stuff everything is happening for me not to me and it's kind of like a crucible <laughs> you know like just a crock pot <laughs> Only flaming with lots of different stuff inside. Right, yeah, no, it's, it's so sad that I have to sit down on the bench to relax my back. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna focus on the pain of it. Uh, anyway, so that's um, that's what I've been thinking about. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Um. So I've been working on feeling more connected to the universe. Um, I have, I also have some luck on, which is making me very shiny and swollen. And I know I'm a sweaty person, but I also, I also have some luck on. Okay. Um, anyway, I am gonna go take care of my back, but that's what I'm working on, and. I'm grateful for everything happening because I know something wonderful is about to happen, something amazing, and I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for it. It's going to be incredible. I don't know what it is, but it's almost here, and it's going to be amazing. So I am grateful for it, and I'm going to encourage you guys to remember that you can always choose to have a grateful day.